Yo, what's up guys? Dan here and today we are going to go over bite, short, int, and long. So what am I talking about? Well, on the screen right here I got um, w3schools.com. Really great website. Um, we're going to just kind of go over a couple of these data types. Um, so let's get into it. Alright, so to start off we're going to go with the bite. Um, so the way that I think about it, uh, bite, short, int, and long, they're just kind of pretty much integers in the fact that y they're all whole numbers and they can be positive or negative, but the difference between them is the ranges of all of them. So let's do bite and we're gonna call this one uh, my age. So my actual age is, uh, oops, it's 27 so uh, from my understanding byte is from negative 2 128 to positive 127 um, and then after that we have short and for this one let's just put like the steps uh, I've taken for the day um, I've actually only done uh, 4,000, which is not very much. Uh, one thing that I will say about numbers um, is that you can put a, um, it's not a dash, but like an underline um, for, I, I guess is a replacement for like commas that you would normally have uh, when you're just like writing numbers. Um, so just uh, good to know. And then of course we got uh, integer, something we've already gone over. Um, for this one, I'm gonna put my car mileage. If I can spell mileage right, there we go. Um, uh, and so this one's kind of same thing. We can put the uh, like underlines there to kind of break it up. Just kind of makes it easier to read for um, yourself or other people. And then we've got uh, the lawn as well. And so we're gonna do uh, the world population. Uh, world. There we go. And so actually the world population is about 7.7. .7. So this is semi close to what it is right now of the actual world population. and then end it with a comma. And so we're gonna get this um, error that IntelliJ is gonna throw to us. And so the reason why, and this took me forever to figure out, um, especially in school, um, you need to put an L at the very end of a lawn. Uh, I don't know why the, I guess people who actually created uh, Java ended up doing that I think to just differentiate between an integer and a lawn so that uh, Java wouldn't get confused between them um, however if you put the uh, lowercase l it kind of gets a little confusing because it can look like a one so I just end up putting a, a capital L most people do um, just kind of helps break up everything um, and then of course yeah, you can put um, all these as negative positive um, however, to kind of help understand it, the reason for why we have byte, short, int, long, and some other data types um, is for one, just kind of structure, and on top of that, um, memory as well. Um, if you you can get into a situation where you can actually go over. Uh, your memory it's called memory overflow um, and so this is kind of a way to mitigate that from my experience with school usually just sticking with integer is pretty much the safest bet um, it doesn't take up that much memory um, and then lawns can kind of come in when you're dealing with other things like finals which we'll get into later um, but I wanted to make this as super easy and quick as possible. If you guys want to check the source code of all of this, it'll be a link in the description of this video. On top of that, if you like the video, please comment, subscribe, and hey, thank you so much for watching these videos. I really appreciate it too.
This is Dan signing off. Take it easy.